Peace be to us, Aldeco Omar here. It's about a little after five in the morning on Wednesday. So I'm here doing a uh, pre-workout run. Uh, so I just wanted to go over some safety issues. Uh, since the, uh, the sun is setting and it's earlier, so we've got, um, we've got uh, <laughs> less daylight <laughs> and more night-like conditions. So, um, safety rule number one. I used to dress in all black because I thought it looked cool, but it's really, it's not wise if you're running in the city. Because, yeah, this is Georgia Avenue here. <laughs> One of the busier avenues in uh, Washington, D.C., in Northwest Washington, D.C. So, even now, there's still, you know, this traffic is picking up because people are getting ready to go to work. You know, the folks that got to get in at 7 o'clock are out here at the bus stations and there's mopeds and bicyclists and stuff. So, I try to wear a reflective vest. I also have a... Um, a light that I that I wear. Um, and it's kind of blinking light. You put it on different modes. Blinking is irritating. <laughs> I just light. But uh, you know, the idea is for me to be visible because you know you kind of there's people who just aren't looking where they're going. They're gonna they're texting. <laughs> they're going really fast. They just, yeah, you don't want to be a fatality and should you have to go out to the street. And that's another thing. I see a lot of people running in the street. I do it sometimes. Uh, the asphalt tends to be uh, more forgiving on your knees than the, uh, the concrete sidewalk. But um, I, uh, you know, traffic's heavy. When it's dark out, it's probably not a good idea to do this. Because again, people, people don't pay attention. Not, not everybody, but a lot of people don't. You know, they're, they're texting while driving. <laughs> kill you, crash into you, maim or kill you, and not even realize they hit anybody. <sighs> and then, also, one of the caveats to being visible is that <laughs> Unfortunately, there's evil people in this world. So there may be people who may shoot you just because they can see you. Just for thrills, and that's, that's unfortunate. Um, so you kinda gotta be wary of your surroundings. Um, this did happen to some poor young man, some guys, some thrill seekers shot him. They saw the bicycle light. Let's just watch. Let me get in the light here. Go, go, go. I'm racing the 70 bus of Georgia Avenue. And then, also, depending on where you live, you may have to look out for a wildlife. So here, um, we have deer. We have quite a few deer. And um, this is, um, I think, we're entering rooting, what's called rooting season. So the male deers are trying to mate with the females, the does, so they can have, I guess so they can have babies. They'll be pregnant throughout the winter and have their babies in the spring. But the male deer become more aggressive than the female deers, especially if they're in estrus, are out in the open. So I ran up on a deer <laughs> when I first started my run. And there were, she had, uh, there were a couple of other deers with her. But there was a buck who's got his horns. I didn't see him. <laughs> I think I, we spooked each other. So, depending on their aggressiveness, they may run into you if you're trying to attack them. So you want to be wary of that. All right, that's it for now. I'm not going that far today. It's, uh, I was training for an ultra, but uh, some situations just uh, occurred in my life that you know now it's it's not a priority. <laughs>
Um, it's a JFK uh, 50 miler. Uh, and it's November. So I, I just, I have it. I had to put my real training on the uh, wayside. Unless you're an experienced ultra marathoner, it's not something that I would suggest doing without the proper amount of training. I've been a marathoner for many years. So I still feel like I could, I could get through a conventional 26.2 miles, you know, at least in five hours, under five hours. But, um, whew, 50 miles is a different story altogether. So, we'll see what I do for the winter. I wish you guys the best of success in your positive endeavors. For those of you guys who have been subscribed to my channel for some time, know that I'm also a physician assistant, now called a physician associate and a health educator, among other things. So, if you want to talk about that, if you have an interest in becoming it yourself, feel free to subscribe. If not, that's cool too. Uh, have a great life. Take care. Peace.